What's up everybody, it's Ben Zentera from Solar Reviews. You know, making the switch to solar energy has tons of great benefits, including bringing thousands of dollars in utility savings to homeowners across the country. But when it all boils down to it, one of the most important factors in deciding to go solar is the cost. So how much do solar panels actually cost? Let's find out. Right now, in the United States, a typical solar installation will cost somewhere between $16,500 and $21,000. The average cost sits around $19,000. I won't lie to you, that's a big investment. And what most people don't realize is that the cost of a solar system is more than just the panels on your roof. In fact, the panels themselves account for less than a quarter of the total cost. You also have to factor in the inverter, the wrecking system, the electrical work, labor costs, and other things like permitting and inspection. I mentioned the average price of solar panels, but really, whose home is average? In reality, everyone's needs will be different, and there are several factors that affect how much you're actually going to pay. One of those things being where you live. Right now, some of the states that have the highest cost per watt of solar installed include Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, and New York, basically East Coast states with high energy prices. We have an entire list of how much the average cost of solar is in all 50 states on solarreviews.com, and that'll be linked down below. Other factors that will end up affecting your solar panel costs include your home's electricity usage, which determines how many solar panels you need, your home and roof characteristics, like the shape of your roof, the age and the type of the and which direction it faces, the type of solar equipment used, and what brand of solar panel you install. Because some brands cost more than others, and there can be good reasons for that. These factors are some of the more obvious ones, but there are also a few additional costs that are not so obvious. We'll call them hidden solar panel costs. The first of these is the cost of roof replacement. If you're installing solar panels and you have a roof in need of replacement in the next few years, you'll want to take care of that before you go through with the installation. If you need to replace your roof when the panels are already on it, it can cost a couple thousand dollars to have a professional remove and reinstall the system. Electrical panel upgrades can also add cost. Not all homeowners will need to do this. If you have a small or outdated breaker box in your home, you may need to upgrade it before you get solar, and this can run you a few thousand dollars. Another hidden cost is financing fees. If you choose to finance your solar system through a loan, you'll likely be responsible for paying a dealer fee, which can add anywhere from 15 to 50% onto the total installation cost. Watch out for these, and always ask an installer for both cash and finance prices to see what the fee is. Finally, there are some future costs to consider. The first is solar panel maintenance costs. Now, while your panels require very little maintenance, these costs are for any cleanings or inspections performed on your system. And if anything ever breaks and you don't have a good warranty coverage, you'll have to pay out of pocket. Side note, this is why it might be a good idea to opt for one of the top solar panel brands or third-party insurance-backed warranty coverage. Another potential future cost is inverter replacement. The solar inverter is the brains of the system, converting DC solar power to AC power for use in your home. Some solar inverters may require replacement after 10 to 12 years, while others come with 25-year warranties. Depending on which kind you get, you should consider that a likely future cost. The cost of solar panels can seem intimidating, but there are incentives and payment options that can make the process much less of a headache. You've got the federal tax credit, local rebates and incentives that can reduce some of the costs of going solar. There are also financing options like solar loans, leases, and power purchase agreements that can make installing solar easier to afford. Finally, even though they sometimes come with a hefty upfront cost, solar panels can provide an excellent return on investment. With the power of the sun, Homeowners save an average of $1,500 a year on their utility bills when they install solar panels. People in places with high energy prices, like California and New England, can save even more. With those savings accumulating year after year, your solar panels can pay for themselves in as little as five years, but the average payback time is about 11 years. After that, you'll have access to a decade or two of free energy. Like we said, solar panel costs and savings can vary a lot by your specific home. Solar Reviews can help you find out exactly how much solar panels will cost for your home. Thanks for watching. We'll link all the resources for things we mentioned in this video down below. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe. While you're busy clicking those buttons, some of our other excellent videos will display on the screen here.